Since I last made a video, the Olympics happened. Canada won a few medals at the Olympics. Americans won a few more medals at the Olympics. I went to art camp. I went to BC. A uh, house down the street from my grandparents burnt down while I was at my grandparents' house. That was scary. There was a bat in my bedroom. I was employee of the month at Eastside Mario's. I worked a crap load. I've started back on my presidential duties for the year, and I'm already on my way to going back to school. That's a lot that I've missed, and I feel like a terrible person, but I'm back. And it's Sunday. I'm a terrible person. I'm awful. Can you all just shun me? Cone of shame? Up? Reference? Anybody? No, that's okay. But I'm just, I'm a terrible person and I'm really sorry. Like, I feel bad in my heart that I was gone for so long. But I did have legit reasons most of those weeks. Other ones I was lazy and I'm really, really sorry and I'm not going to be lazy anymore and please don't hurt me. So I went to art camp. Art camp was fun. I met a whole bunch of cool hipster art camp people. It was cool hipster art camp people. I made some art. I'll post it at some point, maybe not in this video, because sorry, it can be obscenely long. Art camp people were cool. I came back from art camp for three days. I worked all three of those days. Then I left for BC, where I went to my grandparents, and we went to the lake, and, you know, fun BC type stuff. That was exciting. I've been busy, but I'm back now. I got back from BC on Wednesday, and I've worked every night since then. Oh yeah, I was employee of the month at Eastside Mario's. Oh! 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 We were on Undercover Boss Canada! I know that sounds like lame and not that exciting, but like, they filmed an episode of Undercover Boss Canada at our restaurant while I was working. And so I'm in the background of an Undercover Boss Canada episode. Fame. Right there, my friends. That's my ticket to being successful and awesome, like the people I admire, and that's cool. But no, it was pretty cool. So when the episode comes out, I will tell you guys so you can go and watch it. It's coming sometime in November. So that will be really cool, and I'll be on TV. And yeah, so that happened in July, but we only just found out about it like last week, that it was actually Undercover Boss, because it was a documentary about the food service industry. Right. Enough about my life, I have a whole crap load of challenges and themes to get through. And so, I'm gonna do them all, and if they weren't posted on Facebook, then I'm not doing them, because I'm not gonna go back and rewatch every single video today, because I'm lazy. But I will rewatch them all at some point, it's just, I logged all the challenges that were put on the Facebook page. So here we go in order from when I first missed. I've got a handy dandy sheet of paper. August 2nd. Ashley challenged the entire order to have a can stacking competition type thing. I have no cans. They're upstairs in the kitchen and I can't get to them. And so we're just going to have an imaginary can stack, okay? Ready? Okay, so I'm stacking those cans. One, and two, and three, and four, and oh, oh, five. Oh, there's five cans there. Five imaginary cans. Six, seven. Eight, nine, nine, and boom! So that was an exciting imaginary can stacking, wasn't it? Moving forward. Adara, on Esther Day, which would be August 3rd, challenged the entire order to tell people that you love them. On Esther Day, I actually did, you know, go to all my family members and my friends and tell them that I love them and all sentimental, mushy stuff, so that's nice. I, I enjoyed that. Um, on August 13th, Melissa challenged the entire order to talk about our favorite Toy Story 3 character. I have to admit, I have a soft spot for Lotso, the evil teddy bear. Because, I mean, evil pink teddy bears, they're wonderful. And I just want to hug them. Because I hate hugging real people, but I love hugging stuffed animals. I'm weird like that. On August 18th, Adara challenged the entire order to talk about if we'd ever been to Disneyland or Disney World and our favorite ride there. I went to Disneyland when I was in grade 8 with my band. There was like a 
Disney Music Festival that we went to. And so we went to Disneyland for five days, and that was awesome. My favorite ride was, of course, Splash Mountain. And we figured out that if you go on single rider, you get through without going through the two-hour lineup. So that was nice. And so I love Splash Mountain. I also enjoyed Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. That one was fun, too. And we, like, worked the fast passes, and we were cool. On August 23rd, which would be yesterday, not yesterday, I'm filming this late Saturday night, because I know I might get too lazy to do it on Sunday. Um, on Friday, I dare challenge challenges to talk about why we're excited for grade 12. I, I, I want to say I have a lot to be excited for. I mean, it's grad year, I have a full AP course load, I'm a president, for goodness sake. Um, I just went out for coffee with my friend Kayla, who graduated this year, and we had a nice long chat about grade 12 and all those wonderful things, and it's intimidating, man. Like, I paid my grad fees when I went to school yes, on Friday, um, like, for the cap and gown, and I'm like... It's so soon, but, you know, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for, to graduate. I'm excited to move on with my life, and I'm excited to be a president. It's going to be an awesome, awesome. So that's it for challenges, I think. Um, if there were other ones, punish me. I don't really punish me. I, I deserve it. I've been a terrible, terrible person, so punish me. Punish me. Um, themes, I didn't, like, go back and look up the themes for the first two weeks I missed. But Island Survival Week was last week, and, you know, if I was stranded on an island, that would suck. I would probably, if I had a book, I'd be probably okay. I would just sit and read my book for a long, long time. Or I would be one of those people who tries to, like, problem solve and build houses and make rescue signals and, you know, be like that person who's trying to make things happen. Yeah. And this week is International Week, and so my favorite country in this entire world, besides the wonderful nation of Canada, would be Great Britain. And so that is my choice for International Week. I mean, Great Britain has given us such exports as Harry Potter, uh, The Beatles, Adele, other things like One Direction, or The Wanted. It's such a great place, I mean, like, to go there and see J.K. Rowling and to, like, see all the buildings and the Shakespeare, like, it's just such, got such a rich history and such an amazing culture to it, and, like, watching the Olympics just made me want to be there even more. Oh, Britain. Britain, Britain, Britain. I seriously consider one day moving there and then developing a British accent, because Honestly, what in the world is better than a terrible British accent such as my, such as my bad fake one right now? Nothing. Nothing at all. So, Britain is the bomb, man. So yeah. Um, that's it for themes and challenges that I could find on Facebook. <coughs> Don't mind me. I just, like I said, I went out for coffee with Kayla and we talked for three hours and so my voice is kind of like, and right before that I worked and I like, project and talk and I'm enthusiastic about my job and so my voice is just like dying slowly inside and I had to do birthday songs today attention east side Mario's this is Max and he's turning three today can we get a round of applause um, but yeah so my voice is really dead but I think that's it for themes and challenges that I missed if it isn't then please punish me yeah um and my challenge to everybody is Oh, I had a good one. I had a good one. My challenge to everybody is to tell us about a friend of yours who's, or a friend, or a mentor, or an adult who's influenced you for the better, and why, and how. Like, sitting there and having our meeting with Kayla, yeah, she was like a mentor to me and all this stuff, but she's also a really good friend. And she's changed my life for the better, so I'll hear about your guys' experiences with friends, mentors, and whatnot who have changed your life for the better. Cool. That sounds like fun. Now, pip pip, cheerio. Let's go to get a cup of tea and my terrible bit shock son. There's so many just awesome people from Britain. Seriously. Anyways, I need to stop talking now because I talk too much. This is going to be a really long one, but it is actually happening, so that means something. That's great to hear. And yeah, 
So, oh, I meant to say, I feel like a terrible person, and I'm going to be a terrible person, but I'm not going to post a video next week. Yeah, I'm really sorry, but I am going camping for Labor Day, and there's absolutely no cell service, let alone Wi-Fi there. So I'm very sorry, but there will be one the next week, and the next week, and the next week, and I won't let you guys down. I promise. So DFTBA, my friends, Robin will see you back tomorrow, and more importantly, I get to see Mary-Kate Wiles say hi to me. I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs>